So one of the girls who was training uh, during my private uh, Mix Secrets VIP uh, training sessions, she was not very uh, happy about her hearing. She was very skeptical that she wasn't really born for this. And she was always saying things like, Enrico, my uh, ears are not as good as yours. I wasn't really born for this. Uh, I'm never going to hear things like you do. And, um, and I told her, you're wrong. You know, hearing is something we develop. Just like in the musical side, musicians develop um, a good ear for music. You know, they do develop. Uh, unless you're born with a perfect pitch, you can develop a uh, relative pitch. It's a matter of training, of practice, of understanding, you know, interval uh, between notes. And this is totally a matter of practice. In the engineering and production uh, side of it, you develop not only musical ears, but you develop ears for frequency, for levels, for reverb, for compression. And okay, how do you do it? So the way you develop your hearing is by comparison, by referencing music, your music to something else. First off, what you do is listen to a lot of different music and pay close attention, not only to the song itself, but pay close attention to the differences between the nuances. For instance, listen to something and pay attention to the vocal. Then listen to another song. Try to, to, to hear if the vocal is louder or softer. Focus on that. Go back to the first song. Go back to the second song. Try to hear when a song has more reverb. Try to hear when a song is brighter. Try to hear when a song is more closed off, you know, like muffled. Um, when you're working on something of yours, try to think what you would like that to sound like, you know, try to reference your song to aim your music to your production to something. Even if later on down the road, during the production process, you take your own route and you go, you know, freely. But at first, try to reference your music, what you're working on, to something. Then you listen to that something. Then you listen to your music at the same level, at the same listening levels. Then you try to notice what your music has, has different in sounding than to, to your ref, chosen reference track. You know, is, your, is your music brighter? Is your kick drum too loud? Is your snare drum too soft? Is your snare drum muffled? Is it too bassy? Is it too, too aggressive? Does it have too little or too much reverb? Try noticing those nuances. In the beginning, you're probably going to over, overhear a bunch of them. As you, as you do this more often and more often and more often, you're going to start developing a library of, of sounds. And all of a sudden, you're going to be listening to music and you're going to start noticing things just off the bat, you know? Even if you're driving and something plays on the radio, you're just going to go, oh, that's a nice reverb. Oh, that's a nice snare sound. And then those things are going to start being stored in your musical and, and uh, sonic library in your brain connected to your hearing. Pretty easy, you know? It's not a, 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 a two-hour long process you know it's a lifetime process just so you know one day i was in my music school and i was taking a test for hearing back in 1991 in california los angeles and i went very bad i did very bad and you know i thought well am i not that good you know but i knew i knew i was born for this i knew i wanted to do this since i was a very young child but you know i didn't let that test you know bring me down so many years after that trying comparing listening to my mixes everywhere comparing to other music and uh, really referencing my my stuff to other stuff i managed to be blessed with two grammy awards and still now many many decades later 
I still reference my music and my mixes and my productions to other stuff all the time. And why is that? You know, of course, my, my, I'm more secure about my hearing now than I was back then. But our ears weren't really made for music production. They were made for survival in a physical um, environment, like where we live. Because of that, our ears are constantly adapting to, to just like our, our eyes. You know, if you're in a very bright place, very well lit place, and you go into the total dark, a dark room, for instance, you see nothing for many minutes until your eyes start, start to adapt to that darkness. And then you start seeing where the door is, where a table is, where, where a cabinet is. Same with the hearing. If you listen to something very bright, your ears connected to the brain think that's the normal thing. And then all of a sudden you listen to something very softer, you're going to think that's too muffled. But maybe the, the brighter one was too, too, too much, was not the normal uh, EQ setting for, for sound, you know? So our ears are constantly shifting. So referencing, referencing what we hear to something else is always a good practice of building up that sonic library. I'm Enrico De Pauli. This was the Mix Secrets TV. If you think you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed this video, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you think I can help you further, please hit me up, send a message, uh, make a comment and we can uh, arrange to talk about some private uh, coaching and training sessions. Thank you so much. I hope you uh, have great sounds, great mixes, great productions. God bless you. Thanks for watching.